I do not understand. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? Look around, sir. Things are heating up in the city. Zoots know one spark's all it takes for Japan Town to go up in flames. Riots are always best put down by folks not sporting your brand, man. Ah, uh, you are here. Why? What are we doing here? You shall learn soon. I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wish to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. What's in it for Yorinobu? Doesn't seem like the kind who'd care to honor tradition. That is so. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. The floats are sure to be beautiful, but the wise and I will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message would that be? I am here, Gumindomo. Watch your backs. Not one for subtlety, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. Expectations way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you still had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Gotta be honest, that running's not my forte. It is even less mine. I have an infected shard. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Let us move on. Take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. I think I see where this is going. Got me doing all the dirty work. Do you wish to trade places? What exactly would you say to her? Hello, my name is V. Hanako-sama knows me. Only I can do this. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shard. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it. Fucking worked.
And? Done. System's ours. The shard works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... Sit. I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yashitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See you tomorrow. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this Saka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog. Needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. A game, sure. Even without implants, he could decommission us easily. Where's that come from? Ever seen him in action? No, just no. From the way he walks, look in his eye. We'll come back to this later. What is this? Hey, Yakitori. Okay, I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half, we hack Hanako-sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. We got five. Oda zeroes us and pisses on our corpses. We will never be less than a foot away from Hanako. Oda would not dare raise his hand against me. What about me? That is a different matter. I would advise you to watch your distance. your elaborate seppuku ritual? What? Why? As far as I can see, you're trying to get us killed. Really like to know why. The risks are substantial, yes. But we have no choice. Hanako-sama is our only chance. You have nothing to lose, as I do. I see it in your eyes. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. What are you doing? Don't let... A stranger in a strange land. I'm going with you. Hmm. True. And you with your hands, skills, mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. Cook! Louder! Louder! I have decided to tell you no in the flesh. He eliminated the last obstacle between himself and complete power. They surrendered it to him. Tell me that. What do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that not a... Arasaka. An empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside, all of this began with him. The factions, power struggles, all of this. Ksa! Where's Yorinobu's rebellious streak come from? No one knows this. Perhaps soon I shall ask him in person. Got factions inside Arasaka? What are they? There are three. Kiji, Hato, and Taka. Kiji longs for stability. The old order. They are united behind Hanako-sama. The liberal wing, Hato, support Michiko-sama. 
Saburo's granddaughter. I know a little about her. And then there is Taka, treacherous dogs who support Yorinobu. Not to mention even smaller factions. We'll tell me about them some other time. Why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could get the sun on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu? For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family, Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one war. Yet he did not, for he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Wait, think she's complicit in Saburo's murder? I think we are all to blame. We allowed ourselves to be tricked. But we will correct this soon. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So dust and plastic. Come. I have found a good place to observe. We must just climb up here. Now, this way. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. This a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Hate Night City that much. Hmm, perhaps I am simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attention. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? Oh, can you run and grab us a pizza? Take out the food? No. Just know, if I had time and ingredients, I would prepare some onigiri with cod, or with grilled salmon. No, even better, with umeboshi plums. Mmm, Arasaka-sama's favorite appetizer. Simple, tasty, and filling. 
I found him chewing once, fried on his face. It was a protein bar. Subaru Arisaka with a protein bar? Get out of here. Like a true soldier. Okay, enough. Or we'll both grow hungry. Let's do this. Footbridge, but it's guarded. Pipes. See him? We could use them to get inside. Got eyes on the comm system. It's a lot of guards. I could use comms for a diversion. Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. This is not bad. Camouflage turrets by the gate. A last resort. I do not wish to die there. Antenna. Security hub is liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. Trucks drive up regularly. Are we to hijack one? Armored door, sealed tight. I've seen everything. We have what we came for. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kompik Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in. in. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. Ah, shit! B. What? No sudden movements. Do you see it? That cat? So? It's a cat like any other. It is the first animal I see in Night City. Except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a bacchanecho. Bacchanecho? What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune. Can restore the dead back to life. Believe in ghosts? The relic let you talk to the dead, does it not? I believe we are past belief. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko too. Where'd you grow up anyway? I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah. Bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. 
my childhood? Let's see. Racing my bobber for the first time through the hills? Oh, and, uh, first kiss in the middle of a synth cornfield. I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. Transporters, you say? Armored and armed. Chiba 11 had the most murders in all Japan. It probably still has. Let me guess. So they could turn them into Corvo soldiers? Exactly. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. So how's a corpo rookie go from cleaning latrines to being Saburu Arasaka's bodyguard? The highest grades at the academy, service in the special forces, and Arasaka-sama's unmatched eye for talent. You're not saying Saburo fell for you at first sight. To make the right decisions with imperfect knowledge, that is how you become the world's most powerful man. 100 candidates standing at attention, and Arasaka-sama looked into each of our souls and chose the one who would serve him best. All he had to do in return was kill Saburo's enemies. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Saying you got no dirt on your hands? There are no clean hands, but it is important how they become dirty. So, Spill, how'd you sully yours? Arasaka gave me what no one else could. Values I could honor, live for. This was most important. You dirty your hands for money. I, in the name of the principles. Slaving away for a corp. Not exactly everybody's dream. Oh, yes. Because thieving is so much more honorable. At least I'm not fleecing this planet and its people in the name of profit margins. Corporations need capital and resources to keep all in order. Who else is to rule? Corrupt governments? The masses attached to feeders? Cynics? Nihilists? Like you? Come on, not everybody wants to change the world. Suddenly. This is true. You already forget what happened at Tom's Diner? People hate corpse more than anything. Can't blame him either. Got some regrets, but clapping from Arasaka ain't one of them. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad. To leave this world. Forget everything. Never too late to change. What is your expression? One cannot teach an old dog new tricks. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Kompeki, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, argue eagerly. smart. Got no idea what I feel. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. The Bakaneko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. 
as will we. I think it is time to do something. Hmm? Oh, fuck, get worse. You do not look so bad. I'll be in touch. The diversionary action, that is mine. How's things at your end? Good. I will reach the control room and make a terrible mess. Very well. I am ready. When you finish, I'll make the system sick.
Alt alarm. Floats ours to do with as we please. You can fly to Tokyo if you want. Ha <laughs> ha. I just may do that. Good work. Now it is my turn. Can you see? Terrible chaos. Even the roof is slowly. V! The roof! That is your will! There are buildings around. Smaller ones. Use them to come down. What now? Now we retreat into the shadows and arm ourselves with patience. I will contact you before the parade. Until then, try not to get into any more trouble. As if I wasn't in enough already. V, it's good you're here. I had no idea you and the Aldecaldos had made up. They continue to grind my gears something terrible. But, you know... They're family. Exactly. What happened? Spit it out. The Wraiths took Sol. The Brick Brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure it was Wraiths? We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. We need to free Sol. I don't know why, but... I felt I could count on you. I could help you out. There's a butt attached to that. Not for free. I might have guessed. There never is anything free with you statics. Fine. I will give you one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. A Tektronica Grod. You saw it in action already. All yours. Compliments of the Caldos. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. Let's go. Mitch will walk you through the details. Well, I'll be. Pan Am and V, what's going on there? Him? After what happened to Scorpion, he shows up here? Guess probably for Saul. Ignore that. Hey, Pan Am. Seriously? You really aim to do this? Someone has to. You know you have a piston missing, right? Someone has to. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. Never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. Okay, how you want to do this? Quietly. An open assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting up the recon. You'll sneak into the Wraith's camp while I cover you. Wait. 
meaning it's just gonna be us two. What about all you guys? Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our supplies are stuck outside goddamn Reno, and our gear... Don't get me started. We're up shit creek, static. And I don't know if we're ever gonna find or fashion a paddle. Try as we might. So Your we... leader gets nabbed, and you, what, hope for the best? Rather than I think about what you do for the ones at the bottom of your food chain. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! He has a right not to understand. There's Mitch. I floated a drone over the Wraith's camp. Will you take a look, or would you rather keep mouthing off? Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. They found an abandoned cement plant to squat in, with a mass of heavy gear. Locusts would be a better name for them. They fly into a place, strip it of all it's got, then move on. But this time... Do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why. Who knows for sure, but I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. If he's still there, we have to find a way inside. That guard post is probably connected to the rest of the camp. Our way in. Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. Lightly guarded sections. Do you see the tracks? Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. It could have been equipment. Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. The tracks lead to the truck. Can you scan it? That's probably the one they kept Saul in. The main building, there. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. Be like looking for a diamond in a hailstorm. If they haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts, you could access the local camnet. You would just need to find the control room. Skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Okay, got some stuff to work with now. Is everything clear? Let's sum things up, just to be sure. Sheesh. Okay. The Raffins captured Saul. They're holding him somewhere inside their base. We are the cavalry riding to the rescue, hoping to make it in time. You will strive to slip into the camp while I cover you, but we'll let bullets fly only as a last resort. They are many, we are few, so we'll need to look for any chance to gain the upper hand. You will pull Saul out, and the three of us will ride away at top speed. All clear now? Yep. Let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. Solid job. I mostly improvised, actually. Either way, it'll have to do. Hold on a minute, I got one more thing. If you find Saul hasn't flatlined, you'll probably need this. Spike Superjet. A rhino dose. It should speed up Saul's central pump. Hope so. Doubt I could carry him out of my back. 
So that should be everything. V, will you ride with me? Yeah, of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. One me driving. Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. For a spin, if you like. He let himself get captured. Anyone else? But Saul? You said yourself he's not at the top of his form. Yes, but moving civilians across the border during a bombardment? Hijacking a petrochem tanker? Opening the valves? Cranking a few figure eights to set the desert ablaze and give the kids a fun show? That's the Saul I remember. All that are idols. I know. It's just. One hell of a storm! Looking bad. Oh, it's bad in more than its look. We have to move quickly. Okay. We need to hide the car. Park beside that outcrop. Okay, out. I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight. You just watch yourself down there. All right, I'm in position. I have you in range. building. Watch for a vermin. Saul is somewhere inside. I feel it in my bones. Remember what I told you. 
Find the control room and you'll gain access to the security cams. I was. I had to feed them aging one. Made it to the cellar. If they're holding them anywhere, it's here. He still have his teeth. Got a girl here. Dead. Disemboweled. And not just for a chrome, I don't think. Fucking Raffins! Soulless filth! There's no line they won't cross! None! On him. Is he breathing? I think so. Good. Grab him and get out of there. It's all. Do, do, do you have my goddamn cigar? Your cigar. I told you, sons of bitches. A cigar, some ice cold hooch, and a couple of ladies to keep me company. Either that, or you can kiss my keister. Easy, Saul. I'm here with Pan Am. Pan Am? But she left. Not forever. Gonna get you out. You. I remember. You're that merc. Come on. Family's waiting. Uh, so, oh, how yeah. is he? Time to don my dancing shoes. Seems not bad at all. Demanded a cigar and some companions. That does sound like Saul. Now get yourselves out of there. On our way out now. I'm firing up the engine. I'll be right there. You. Not by the posted guards. And if we can be just as sly together, might get out without firing a shot. Exactly. There should be a quick exit out of the cellar.
That storm is picking up steam. Good. It'll cover our tracks. Anyway, we have good reason not to head straight back to camp. There's no need to play it safe. We'll just burn time. Better late and safe than dead. out there I remember this place it should be safe at least for now inside quick Dinner. Not hungry. I just swallowed a pound of sand. Looks like we're in for the night. A little power might be useful. Could you help me look, V? I'll search in here. A lot of useful things. Bangles left in a hurry. Biotechnica made them a good offer. Yeah, right. Sell us your land. You don't know that. to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. If so, just whack it back in place and I'll get this junk burning. Anything else? Your Excellency? Huh. I'll need to think about it. Though it'll be the end of our friendship if Saul freezes to death. what I see. Expiration date's from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our lucky day. Lucky. Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? Go on, get off your feet. It could be ours. No. No lecture. But we do need to talk. That Wraith's crap. It shouldn't have happened. They wanted... Everything. Our camp locations, routes, offloading points. If they knew what state we're in, one or two more raids and that'd be the end of us. And if you had mounted a raid of your own, well, that would have been the end of me. See that? Clenched teeth, furrowed brow. It's his way of saying thanks. We've had our spats. A few. Like any family. We're not worth digging up. I think so, too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what's coming. Bigger fucking problems. Maybe a war. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? Vade, tell him it's a damn rotten idea. You gotta agree with Pan Am. Sounds like a truly shitty idea. Thanks. What could you possibly know about it? Remember the backers? 
I'm a bit hazy. Exactly. Joined up with the Snake Nation, then poof. Evaporated. Aldecaldo's strength has always been their independence. Give that up, my clan's fate will be yours. Or worse. Because Biotechnica just ain't Snake Nation. Thank you, V. I could not have said it better. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. But right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? I boobs. Damn, I love that word. Oh, what was that about? To her boobs. Yeah. To her boobs. Ugh. Now that packs octane. <laughs> Funny. What is? I rarely sleep with a roof overhead, yet this will be the second time with you. When you're on the road, day into night into day, your butt basically fusing with your seat. You forget what it's like. Tell me about it. I'm still not used to it. All right. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? A little fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, man. Mm -hmm. I couldn't ask for more. How's your whiskey, man? Hmm. Warm. Subtle metallic aftertaste. Bold, yet smooth. Four out of five stars. Ma'am, I'm sure you'd be cozier with your shoes off. <laughs> After a full day in them, I'd fear a health code violation. Nonsense. After a day as full as today, you deserve to kick back. Oh? And what did you have in mind? I've got a few ideas. I think you know what kind. Uh... <clears throat> the... No. It's really nice as is. Let's not spoil it, okay? Right. So, friends, then. V, I'm glad you came. Really. Thanks. It meant a lot to me. Ooh. Do you hear that? Nope. Hmm. Mm-hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but when a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plate, I sure can't get any, should I? Not awake. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel. I wish you all sweet dreams. Sleep all right? Good work, V. Old style raid. It's all doing all right? Cracked skull, six busted ribs, bruised kidneys, but he's back at it. Bossing folk every which way. You? 
Hey, you gotta agree now. Next time, I choose the motel. <laughs> if there is such a time. Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. <sighs> it's too bad I better get rolling in a minute. You need to stay. I think you can see that. Not one of them will admit it, but... Damn, do they need you. Of course they do. Come on. Last night, when we were talking to Saul, thanks for standing up for me. Though, one thing, the wraiths, the raid, it's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp. Whereas I... Whereas you... The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Alde Caldo's turn. Some recon is in order. One more thing. Your compensation. Please take care of her. She served me well. Putting her in good hands, Pan Am. I know. So, uh, thank you. Once again. Uh, hold up. About last night. We don't need to talk about that. I'm just not like that. So what are you like? More like this. Take care of yourself. You too, Pan Am. And remember, I'm indebted. Circumstances were different. I'd say saddle up and ride after her. But here and now, just look. Damn hard to catch a girl like that. Only hope you've got is they feel a pang and stop to wait. What's with you? Dunno, a memory, maybe. Don't matter. Okay, back to town, V. Headed up to here with this gusty outback. Know why I read? Because only fiction's capable of conjuring up any kind of sense about this world. I don't know. I think I liked it better up north. Less sand and all. Can't remember feeling so itchy. How you feeling? Free. No better feeling in the world. You all bury the hatchet with Pan Am? <laughs> I'd say it was more like a battle axe. These things... They're tough to bury, and even tougher to keep buried. But I'm optimistic. Her heart seems like it's in the right place. Better start heading out. Yeah, same goes for us. Only once the radiator gets a breather. Thanks, V. What you did for me, I'll never forget it. <laughs> 